How is gas used in secondary oil recovery and what limits it? Like water, gas produced with the oil from a reservoir can be re-injected to maintain reservoir pressure and keep production going. Gas is much lighter than water or oil, so it tends to gravitate upwards. This means it's better able to reach the upper layers of the reservoir, but poorer at reaching the lower layers. Additionally, gas being less viscous than water can be more effective than water in areas of lower permeability. In reservoirs with no extensive barriers to vertical flow and where there is a sufficient supply, gas can be used in a process called gravity drainage. Gas can be injected in the higher layers of the reservoir where it tends to stay as it is lighter than oil. With continuous injection, the gas layer starts expanding downwards as a stable front due to its density difference with the oil. Some of the oil is pushed to the producers, whilst oil behind the gas front continues to drain down, hence the name gravity drainage. Although gas can help increase recovery, in many cases the residual oil saturation from a basic gas flood is similar to that of water. So, gas alone cannot make much difference to the industry average of 35% oil recovery unless it interacts more with the oil or improves sweep. What methods has the industry developed to increase oil recovery?